We investigated how neglecting the crystal orientation fabric when inferring the basal friction coefficient field affected the accuracy of the results, and whether this could be mitigated by inferring an isotropic enhancement factor field to compensate for missing fabric information. We calculated the steady states that arose from ice flowing over a sticky spot and a bedrock bump using a vertical slab numerical ice flow model, consisting of a Wortmann sliding law and the anisotropic Johnson flow law coupled to a spectral fabric model of lattice rotation and dynamic recrystallization. When given these steady or transient states as inputs for a canonical or joint-based inversion, we found that Glenn's isotropic flow law could not always be used to accurately infer the true basal drag or friction coefficient field, which were obscured by the orientation fabric, potentially affecting vertically integrated mass fluxes. By inverting for an equivalent isotropic enhancement factor, a more accurate mass flux could be recovered, suggesting that joint inversions for basal friction and the isotropic flow rate factor may be able to compensate for mechanical anisotropies caused by the fabric. This article was authored by Nicholas M. Rathman and David A. Lilian. We are article.tv, links in the description below.